Surprise and pamper your guests with this easy two-step carrot pudding, rich in vitamin A and very restorative. shred this into small pieces. And I will empty this into this flat pie dish. So there goes the 16 ounces of um, carrot. So as you see this dish essentially has only three ingredients. Now I'm going to fill my second ingredient which is about um, six ounces of condensed milk and make sure it gets evenly distributed and coated on the carrot. And then the third ingredient is cardamom. All I need to do is crush the cardamom and sprinkle it over this. Did you know that the carrot, um, carrots help support the immune system? They help maintain healthy skin, regulate metabolism, and maintain um, health in general as well. Crushing the cardamom. My children don't like it in the uh, granular form, so I really have to make powder out of this, but it gives a nice, smooth, subtle flavor to this. And I also don't discard the shell of the cardamom because that is also very useful to give flavors as well. So just kind of sprinkle this over. The key in this um, recipe is mixing the condensed milk with carrot. There it goes. My oven's ready. And I'm going to put this on 350 degrees centigrade for about 40 minutes. At the end of 20 minutes, I'm going to stir it again so that everything gets um, redistributed, recoated in the and cooked thoroughly. The oven at the upper shelf, and there you go. This is a really optional step. Ours is a family of nut lovers, so I love to put nuts here. I've taken some almonds and um, walnut. Both of these included is a handful, and I'm just going to uh, make, crush it into tiny chunks. Um, just enough to have a chunky, um, nutty taste to it. And sprinkle it as garnish there. So at the end of 20 minutes, I'm just going to stir the sides a little bit. As you see, um, see, it still looks liquidy. I'm going to put this back in the oven for another 20 to 25 minutes. See, this is um, almost done, ready to be plated. And when you mix this, you will see it's not very dry. It's nicely cooked. And the milk has actually um, transformed into a thicker, cheesy-like consistency. Now what I'm going to do is I will put the nuts, the bigger chunk of nuts, I'm going to fold it in. In the smaller chunks of nut, I'm going to use it for garnishing. Now, with those people who really love nuts and they liked it in the baked form, uh, baked form, you could use the nuts, but the color will get darker and it will not be as shiny orange color if you bake the nuts with it. So this, I have folded in the nuts here. Remember that if you're going to use double the quantity, you can increase the baking time to an hour. But if you use much more quantity than I did. Even then, the baking time should approximately be an hour or a little bit more than an hour. And then I'm going to use ice cream scoop to plate this just for garnishing sake, basically. And then the smaller nuts sprinkle on the side. If you love safran, you can um, put safran a little bit for garnish as well. And our carrot pudding here is awesome. Hot, ready. You could eat it cold as well.